Alright, welcome to another video tutorial on electronic configuration. In this case, we are trying to determine the electronic configuration of your lanthanum with a chemical symbol LA. Okay, so we always start with knowing the number of electrons in this specific atom. So let's go back to our periodic table. Alright, so we will, we will locate lanthanum here in our periodic table and it's located in the F block as you can see it's element number 57 so that tells us that the lanthanum has 57 electrons or we expect that there is 57 electrons in your lanthanum since it is a neutral atom we will not be adding or subtracting any electrons from this total number of electrons alright so let's write it down okay so we now have identified the total number of electrons in your lanthanum that is 57 electrons. So the next step is we try to distribute it looking back at our different energy levels involved in this electronic configuration. Okay, so here is again our guide and filling up the electrons using the orbital diagrams here. And these are the different energy levels of your orbitals. Always we start with the lowest energy, 1s, followed by 2s, and 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and so on, and so forth, alright? So again, the n here represents the number of shells that is found in your atom. And this here, in your orbital diagrams, again, every square, every box corresponds to a single orbital that can accommodate only two valence electrons, or generally two electrons only. So for the s orbital for the s subshell that's only two electrons for the p that's six the d that's 10 and for f that's 14 all right so let's do the filling up with our 57 all right that's 57 electrons for lanthanum okay so we have now your orbital diagram so we will now fill up every orbital with the corresponding electrons okay all right that's one electron then that's another one that's for the one s we go to the next one two s then 2p, 1, here, and another one here. Then you pair them up. Alright, so we represent our electrons with a half-headed arrow, which means that is a single electron, because if that's a double-headed arrow, it means that is a different entity. Alright, for the purpose of clarity in this representation, we are using the half-headed arrow to represent our single electron. So we now have used up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons in our total of 57, so we're only left with 47 electrons to distribute. So let's do that all together. Alright, so and I have filled all the remaining 47 electrons that we were lacking earlier, plus a 10 that we did earlier, so the total of 57. Alright, so let's look at the filled orbitals, that's 1s, we have 2, so that's 1s2, then for the 2s, that's 2 electrons, so that's 2s2. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, then we go to the 3d10. Now again, why this is 3? Because for the d block, that's n minus 1. Okay, then we go to 4p6, and after 4p6, we have 5s2, and again 4d10, that's 5p6, 6s2, and we have 5d1. So this here, the total paired electrons is equal to 40, uh, sorry, 56. Then the last entered electron will occupy the 5d orbital. So that's a 5d1. All right. So let's write down our electron configuration based on our field orbital diagrams. Okay. So we now have written our electronic configuration based on the field orbital diagrams that we have seen earlier. Okay. So that's 1s2. Let's check the other one. Okay. That's 1s2. 2s2, 2p6. There, then we have 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Here, then we have 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. Alright, until here. Then next we have 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, and 5d1. Alright, so that's 5p6, 6s2, 5d1. Alright. So that is our electronic configuration based on the field electronic, sorry, energy orbitals based on the number of total the, uh, electrons of your lanthanum. Now if we try to check or compare our answers with the one published in Wikipedia, so let's see the Wikipedia. Alright, so this is the Wikipedia 
here Wikipedia picture or uh, page for violantinum as you can see here on this side electronic configuration is open close brackets xenon that's 5d16s2 so this is again written an increasing number of uh, shell so that's 5d16s2 then xenon here represents the core configuration if we go back to our original answer here this is again arranged in the increasing uh, energy levels of your orbitals all right so that confirms that our answer is indeed correct as compared to the answer in the Wikipedia all right now remember the xenon represents the core configuration that is represented from 1s2 until 5p6 and if you try to check that on the periodic table and xenon is here right it's element number 54 so if you try to do the electron configuration from 1s2 to s2 then 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 3 4d6 4p6 sorry 5s2 4d10 and 5p6 here in your xenon right so that is a core configuration so again that is based on our answer and our field orbital diagrams and that's it that is our final answer that is all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning